Hello everyone, this is the case of mucoid degeneration of the ACL ligament in a 39 year old gentleman. This is a rare pathological condition of anterior cruciate ligament in which the substance of the ligament is substituted by mucinous material. The MRI is suggestive of severe affection of the ACL more towards its femoral attachment. The MRI is showing salary stock sign which is classical for mucoid degeneration of the ACL. The normal ACL on diagnostic arthroscopy looks smooth with a thin synovial lining covering it. The presence of ligamentum mucosum is quite a consistent finding with normal ACL. Whereas in this case, the ligamentum mucosum was absent. Although the ACL was intact, but it was fibrillated, yellowish and hypertrophic with interspersed yellowish mucinous material along the fibers exposed on probing. In this case, the ACL lacked the smooth thin synovial lining as well the ACL was typically bulging anteriorly in the notch as well impinging on the lateral femoral condyle. Different treatment strategies can be considered for such cases. First is partial debridement of the ACL. Second is uh, near total or total debridement of the ACL without reconstruction of the ligament. Third option is complete excision of the ACL with reconstruction of the ligament. There are studies in the literature which show that even after complete excision of the ACL without reconstructing it, only about 20 to 30 percent patient feel instability in the knee joint. Feeling of instability will be seen typically in young patients with very active lifestyle. Our patient is a 49 year old male with limited high demand activities anticipated in future. Now we are debriding the bulky mucoid ACL with the help of 4 mm shaver blade and arthroscopic basket forceps. So as you can appreciate in this case we had to do near total excision of the ACL considering the fact that there was extensive involvement of the ACL with mucoid degeneration. At the end of the procedure we can say that there isn't very significant instability after near total excision of the anterior ligament. 
with such aggressive debridement of the acl we believe that there is least chance of recurrence in this patient with his low demand activity lifestyle as well as with good physiotherapy and rehabilitation we believe that he will not face uh, issue of instability too if he feels instability in future second stage acl reconstruction can be considered thank you very much